back. I'm Miss Comica. This is my sister Sierra. Hi. Also known as Gibby. <laughs> um, she has her own channel. It's called Gibby Goes the Distance. Um, she's actually moving to Florida next week and she's moving to Disney World and she's going to be starting an internship with Disney. So we decided to film a tag video together. Do you want to talk a little about your channel? About what it's about? <laughs> Yeah, so um, when I go to Florida, um, I kind of just wanted to film what my experience is going to be like when I'm there. Just because whenever I was interested in doing the Disney College program, um, I just watched a lot of different DCP vlogs to kind of get an idea of what it would be like when I was there. So I kind of just wanted to record my time while I'm there, um, just to kind of give other people an idea of what it would be like when they went, and then also for like my friends and my family to kind of keep up with me while I'm there. Yep, and then I will include her channel link in the description box below, but again, it's called Gibby Goes the Distance. Go ahead and check her out, follow her, subscribe. Um, so the video we decided to do today is a tag video. It's called the Otaku Tag, and it's about um, anime. There's about 20 questions, but it should still be fun. So the first question is, the first anime you ever watched? So for me, First one I ever watched was Vampire Night, but it was mostly because we we uh, were reading the manga. We were really into manga for a really long time, and then we found out that there was a Vampire Night anime, so we watched that. But the first one I really watched was Death Note, and that was like five years later. Uh, yeah, that was the one that really got me into anime, though. So if we're like counting Pokemon <laughs> as an anime. <laughs> Then Pokemon would probably be the first one I ever watched, um, and then after that it would be Sailor Moon. But if we're not going to count like the ones that everyone watches, then I would say Inuyasha, just because when I was a kid, like they used to show that on Toonami all the time, and I remember like watching it every single night. They would show like three or four episodes, and like that really got me into anime. And then she kind of got me into it after that, and then I watched it on her night. So I think it would probably be like whichever anime you started watching, like subbed. Subbed? Yeah. Oh, I've heard. Oh. <laughs> hmm. What it, was the first anime you watched? Was dubbed. Yeah, it was on Toonami. Hmm. Anything on Toonami was dubbed. Dubbed. Hmm. Because then I watched Vampire Night. Then. For mm, you. No, I watched that dubbed. Dubbed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I watched uh, Death Note dubbed too. What? Yeah. Ooh. Like it wasn't like the last three episodes of uh, Death Note where I watched those subbed, oh my gosh. but that's because it was on uh, Netflix and it was subbed. Hmm. But then I don't remember what the first like sub anime I watched was. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I think it was um, a Kame. A Kame? Yeah, I think that was the first oh, sub yeah. anime I ever watched. <laughs> Wow. Was the comic I'll kill, yeah. Wow, I'm learning so much about you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I'll give you Inuyasha, okay? Because that's technically like anime status. <laughs> so number two is the top five fave anime. So it's really hard to pick your top five fave, but on Aozora, my app that I use to track, I just so happen to have five anime that I rated five stars, so I just picked those. So they are Vampire Knight, Death Note, Akame Got Kill, uh, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, and uh, Shokugeki no Soma, or Food Wars. Food Wars yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have some of the same ones, <laughs> not um, but not all the same ones. So my top five, so number one would be the whole Fate series, so Unlimited Blade Works and Fate Zero, we're just going to pretend that Fate right. Stay Night didn't <laughs> happen. Yeah. Um, number two would be uh, Noragami, because I love Noragami, both season one and season two. Um, number three is Your Lie in April because I like absolutely love that series. I think it's just such a beautiful series. Uh, number four would be Another because I love horror anime and that one's like super gory but it just has like a good storyline and that one's good. And then number five would be A Kame Got Kill. Nice. For obvious reasons because it's A Kame Got Kill. Yeah. A Kame. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number three. Top five favorite anime openings. So for me, it is Noragami. Um, I prefer the second version, or the second, what would you call it? Second opening. opening for season, so season two's opening. Season two, yeah. They're both really good if I had to pick one, I'd pick season two. 
Uh, next would be Death Note, same thing. Season two, they're both really good, but I think I like the season two one better. The first one's more iconic, like you first hear it and you're like, oh, Death Note. But the second season, I just think it's better. I don't know, I like it better. <laughs> uh, number three is Fully Cooly. I don't know, it's just kind of a weird anime, but the, the soundtrack in that is actually really cool. Um, Vampire Night, the first one, and then, then Sailor Moon, the English version, just because it's like so iconic and because Sailor Moon. <laughs> but I'm also going to give an honorable mention to Tokyo Ghoul, even though she didn't like that one. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Um, so my top five would be Hey Kids from Morigami, which is the season two opening. Um, Unravel from Tokyo Ghoul, which is of course the season one opening. We're going to pretend that the second season didn't even happen. Um, number three would be this game from No Game No Life because I don't know I just have so much love for that opening it's just got I don't know it just has so much going for it um, the number four would be Flyers from Death Prey which is such an underrated anime and then uh, number five would be History Maker from Yuri on Ice which I just watched recently and I'm like completely She's obsessed with that opening yeah <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but apparently I have to watch it because it's like the coolest thing in anime right now, so. I don't know, I mean it was a good anime, but I think the opening was like my favorite part about all of it. Have you guys seen it? Let us know. Let us know if you've seen Comment it. Comment below. Yeah, let us know if you've seen Yuri on Ice and if I should watch it. Is it really <laughs> up to the hype, okay? I want to know. <laughs> so number four is uh, top three favorite genres. So for me, it's going to be in this order, horror, mystery, adventure. Most of the anime that she and I watch is like horror. We're huge horror anime fans. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, my top three would be fantasy, horror, and action. Nice. Okay. We're pretty close. It's close enough. I almost said adventure, but then I was like, uh, adventure, action. Or fantasy, yeah, I know. Fantasy for sure, that's like my number one. But then horror is a really close second. Yeah. Or fantasy's number one? Yeah, fantasy's number one. In that order. I was by that. I thought it'd be horror. I like horror, but I mean, I was thinking about it, and like my top two are Fate Stay Night, or well, Fate series, mm -hmm. and then Noragami, which are both fantasy, so. That's true. I'm learning so much about you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number five. Anime you have watched in an entire sitting. So for me, it was Vampire Night. I know it's like a repeating thing, but it was the first one I ever watched, and it was like something that totally got me into anime, so. Did you watch both seasons in one sitting, or just the first season? Uh, the whole thing. Both seasons? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen <laughs> Vampire Night, but it's not like a 12 episode series. It's like decently long. It's just like, it's so good at like ending on a cliffhanger and you're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? I have to watch the next one. So then you just keep getting sucked in and then, and you already know how it ends because I've seen it, you know, before. You just keep watching it. Uh, oh yeah, so Vampire Night. That wasn't the end, by the way. That wasn't the only one. <laughs> There's more. So it was Vampire Night, it was also Corpse Party, which, okay, Corpse Party was only like five, five issues, or five issues, five episodes, um, and then another, just because it was so good as well, and then you're lying in April because <laughs> it was so good as well, so. So yeah, I definitely watched your lying in April in one sitting too. That one, like, I just you couldn't can't stop, stop watching. You yeah, know what happens, yeah. It, it's one of those, it's kind of like what she said about Vampire Night, where it's like, you just can't stop watching it. They're just mm -hmm. cliffhanger after cliffhanger, and you have to know what happened. Yeah. That one I watched in one sitting. Mm -hmm. Also watched Corpse Party in one sitting. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot about that one mm -hmm. until she said it. Mm -hmm. But it's like five episodes, and yeah. it's again one of those where it's like, are they? Good? What's? I'm, I'm not even gonna say what it's about, but yeah, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> um, and then I also watched A Kame Ga Kill all in okay. one sitting. That's a long one. That one's a long one, but it. I like watched the very first episode, and for anyone who's watched A Kame Ga Kill, you know, like after you watch the first episode, you're like, what the hell is going yeah. on in this anime? <laughs> and so you just sit there and watch the whole entire thing, and that's pretty much what happened. Um, also, Yuri on Ice. I watched that all in one sitting. And it's one of those where, like, I started watching it because of all the hype on it, and then I watched, like, two or three episodes, and I was like, oh, this is okay. And then, like, by, like, the fourth episode, I was like, okay, I have to watch it now. How's it gonna end? And I just, like, blew through it. Nice. <laughs> so, number six is your favorite character of all time. If you had to pick one character, one anime character of all time that's your favorite, my favorite is Chelsea from Akame Gaga. What? I know. Why? I don't know. I just like her. I just thought she was like super cool and just like her, like, I don't know, like her abilities and stuff and like her demeanor. I just thought she was cool. Spoiler alert, but she's only in it for like a couple of episodes. <laughs> I, know. I know. So she didn't, she wasn't in it long enough to like annoy me. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> 
Do you do you know who mine is? Probably after you tell me, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, duh. Who? So my number one favorite anime character of all time is Yato from Noragon. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that, but then I was like, nah, it's too easy. I just have so much love for him. Like, it's cool. I, I'm not usually a big fan of like main characters, and I don't even know if I would consider him the main character or Hiori the main character. Mm -hmm. But I just have so much love for him. Like, I love his storyline. I read all the manga after I watched the anime because I just fell in love with, like, him and, like, his story and him as a character. He's, like, hands down for sure my favorite anime character. <laughs> okay. Respect. He's pretty cool. Mm. I like I like that anime. It's a good one. Mm. Okay. Number seven. Ooh. She already asked me this one, and I was like, no, you have to wait for the video. So number seven is the most hated character of all time. 